You are listening to From Ring to Veil. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kim. And we are your wedding planning gurus. We take the stress out and put the fun back into wedding planning. Dance floor props and photo booths, episode number 184. Please take a second and subscribe to the show. And if you're so inclined, take a screenshot of that, post it on Instagram or on your Facebook page and tell people that you have found the awesomest wedding planning podcast ever so they should take a look and if you also feel so inclined join our facebook group it's from ring to veil wedding planning community we ask two very simple questions just answer those and we will most likely let you in don't answer just one please answer both (laughs) (laughs) i hate that i feel so mean but you know we want to make sure this is a good group for our people so far it's been great i feel like we've had great conversations and very helpful information from not only us but from fellow wedding planning peeps and from our vendors that are in there so if you're looking for a nice safe community join us vent yeah you know (laughs) it i mean wedding planning is stressful and we can you know you can talk to us and you can let it all out and we'll have some great advice for you and calm you down i guess you could say we could we could bring you down to a nice even keel they say wedding planning is the most stressful thing ever sometimes. It can be. And that's what we're here for is to help with that. So yeah, take advantage. <laughs> Don't forget, we have our Seattle metro area wedding planning resource guide out there on Amazon. It's in Kindle form and paperback form. You can go to firmringtovell.com slash RG paperback or firmringtovell.com slash RG Kindle. It'll take you right there to Amazon so you can buy it. It has awesome information about our fellow Seattle vendors that we absolutely love. A lot of them have been former guest hosts on our show, so check them out. All right, let's get to the topic. No more playing around. Uh, Because (laughs) we have been trying for two days to record this show. Just so you know, (laughs) things happen. Technology, you know. Technology sucks. Let me tell you. <laughs> it's great, but it's like a you can you you have to live with it and you can't live without it and it it's frustrating. And sometimes it's just one little button you have to That's push right. and it's eluded us for two days. Yes. And for no reason at all it's changed. So there you go. Yeah. Just know that we are doing our best <laughs> to get these out to you because we want to. And mm-hmm. it may be frustrating, but in the end it's super rewarding and we love it. So mm-hmm. All right, let's start out with dance floor props. Getting your guests on the dance floor doesn't have to be a chore. We have suggestions for props that you can give to your wedding guests and have them have a great time on the dance floor. So That's right. And I think a lot of people don't even know that there is this option of dance floor props, <laughs> right? Because you're like, what is dance floor props? Well... <laughs> They're props to get your peeps on the floor and have fun with. So here are some ideas. We've all seen these foam light sticks, right? A lot of times you see them at concerts. They're, they, they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, long, short, whatever. There's stuff written on them, whatever. And then they're, they're kind of like big, huge glow sticks, but they're mm. foamy, so they don't hurt when you hit people with them. <laughs> <laughs> they're not lightsabers, but you can That's act right. like they're lightsabers, I guess, That's right. if you really want to. There's all kinds of glow stuff. Mm -hmm. Necklaces, bracelets, glasses, headbands, you know, all the little glow stuff you can put together and put it on your hands, your arms, your wrists, your legs, your head. All over, really. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Dance shoes or flip flops. If you want to have a basket full of those for people who maybe have not worn the comfiest shoes to your wedding and might want some... uh, relief for their tired feet i don't so i'm not a big dancer i don't know can you dance in flip-flops yeah you can it's not the easiest thing (laughs) in the world but might be better than a big huge heel i just i just don't know yeah they also have those disposable flats now Mm -hmm. you know you can get and so you can have those and they're in various sizes that people could just pick them up or even like the little the no-show socks the Mm -hmm. really thin ones Hey, put them in there. Because no, if you want to go barefoot, but you don't want to get all dirty feet. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. yeah. 
Totally. Also, you can have like what are the what is it called? The sandwich board or mm-hmm. an easel or something like that with some sort of dance floor rules. Make them fun. Make them quirky. You know, mm-hmm. like if you're on the dance floor, you have to dance. You can't just stand there and look like a fool or act mm-hmm. like a fool. Yeah. I mean, you can act like a fool, I guess you can. On you the can dance even floor. put the instructions for the hokey pokey on it yeah. or something. And and in that, you can have somebody design it for you and have one of the professionals make it look really fun and pretty. Mm-hmm. You could even DIY, DIY it if you are really good at writing so people can read your writing. That's the important <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, not me. You wouldn't be able to read mine at all. Uh, and then there's tons of blow up things now. Listen, we're talking guitars, instruments, animals, fun things like that. Mm -hmm. You can even get like crowns and all kinds of fun stuff. You can usually find these things at the dollar store. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go there, you can have them all blown up and sit in a basket or some something on the side of the dance floor. And so when there's like a guitar solo in the middle of a song, grab one of the blow up guitars, play air guitar. You know, Mm -hmm. it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It is fun. Also, you can have song request cards. As long as your DJ says that's okay. Yeah. (laughs) And usually you can put these in with your invitation so so you can give them to your DJ beforehand so Mm -hmm. you can have the songs ready. You know, because usually you pick out your songs with your DJ before the wedding. So if you have song request cards, they need to come in before. Mm -hmm. You can't just sometimes spring stuff on them. Well, I think if they're a DJ worth their salt, they'll have it. Well, yeah, but... (laughs) I mean, if you pick certain songs and then they just come with that playlist, then they're not going to have. Mm-hmm. You could even include your um, songs that are not going to be played at your wedding. Just <laughs> definitely are not going to be played. <laughs> listed on the back of that, so don't even try. <laughs> oh, so lit floors and lit large letters. And I'm talking about lighted, not lit but lit. whatever um so the floors that are lighted that have fun cool different lights in them Think and there of are Saturday all night kinds. fever <laughs> yeah. how fun would that be okay and then large letters you could have like monograms or you can have you know a specific word love or fun or dance or something like that that are mm-hmm. lit that even maybe even flash you don't get too crazy because you don't want to have anybody you know, having any kind of epileptic yeah. seizure yeah. or something. Be careful with the strobes. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, something like that, just to bring a little bit of an el- element of fun into it. Also, if you have the budget for it, you can have a couple of professional dancers to get out there because they can you know, get the crowd involved and things like that. So maybe you have that and you want the dance. The dancing is the best part of your wedding. That's what you want to have. You know, that's the most favorite part of your wedding. You want to have dancers. And so hire dancers. There you go. Professional ones to get out there and get everybody dancing. Disco lights. You know, you could have a strobe lights and you can have a ball and all that kind of stuff. Again, be careful with it. But uh, mirrored balls, you know, those things you can buy fairly cheaply, if you, mm-hmm. especially if you're only going to use it once, or you can rent. You can rent the whole lighting system. And maybe mm-hmm. even your DJ has that. So you might ask about those. But, I, you know, just it's kind of fun. It's a little bit clubby, you know. It gives you a little, <laughs> a little more than just a dance floor and a DJ. Fog machines. You know, it's always nice to go around in a <laughs> mist of fog while you're dancing. It makes you feel like you're dancing on a cloud. Especially also, when you play Thriller. <laughs> That is on the list of do not play this at my wedding. No. No. (laughs) We're not friends anymore. Forget it. (laughs) Um, Don't forget about lighted monograms, gobos, we call them. They're called gobos. But yeah, you can get a lighting professional to make you a a personalized gobo and you can have it projected on the lights and you could go all around the room or on the dance floor or whatever. I think that's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Light shows. So you can have the, not just lights, but the laser lights that do the light shows on the walls <laughs> and on the floors and stuff like that. It's kind of fun. Sometimes I do have one preference on that. Don't make it shine into the eyes of your guests because that <laughs> is so annoying. If you're, especially if they're not out dancing and they're tr- just trying to sit and enjoy watching everybody and the lights are shining directly in their eyes that's really not fun no 
And don't forget, you know, along with the blow up things, you can have actual instruments, you know, handheld mm-hmm. instruments like tambourines and maracas and castanets and whatever else to, you know, when you do the conga line, that's fun, you know? Hey. Yeah. It is fun. And then you can find some of those that light up, too. The hula hoops and the wands and the tambourines and maracas mm-hmm. that, that light up. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. I just love the light up stuff. <laughs> I just think it's fun. So you can have dance signs that announce like the first dance, the mother-son dance, the father-daughter dance, and of course, the chicken dance. <laughs> I hate the chicken dance. Or the I'll, hokey pokey or whatever. I do the, the hokey pokey is so much better than the chicken dance. I'm thinking of when you are at a boxing match and, and there's somebody that walks across <laughs> round one, round two. So you, somebody walks across it. First dance, Mother <laughs> Sunday, you know, stuff like that. I think that would be kind of fun. Yeah, as long as they're not bikini clad. That's fine. You know, however you want them. If you want them in a full <laughs> jumpsuit, you can have that. <laughs> you could have masks as well, which... I don't know. I don't like masks. I think they're creepy, but. <laughs> well, they make all kinds and you don't have to get the full rubber, full yeah. headed well, mask. I'm, I'm not talking about that. I mean, even with the eyes covered, you sometimes you can't. It's dark on the dance floor. You can't really tell who that is. And mm-hmm. how, if you like masks. There you go. Then go. There you go. And last but not least, uh, microphones. Blow up or light up microphones and people can lip sync their hearts out. They have the karaoke ones now, too, that you can order off of Amazon mm-hmm. that that you can use your phone with or whatever, mm-hmm. you know? I thought that was cool. Y'all can have a karaoke session in the middle of your dance party at your wedding. That's right. I just think it will be so fun to have a lip sync competition, <laughs> you know? As your DJ's playing, you get somebody up there, and then somebody else comes in with their microphone and starts lip syncing, and somebody else can grab that microphone and... <laughs> It would just be a really fun time. I, I That way you don't have to listen to the karaoke. <laughs> You've been watching too much lip sync battle. Uh, I haven't actually watched that. I don't know. Oh, it's I for, hilarious. I kind of forgot about that, actually. It's hilarious. It's fun. It, but you don't have to do it in such a big production. You know, they can actually <laughs> keep in their wedding dress on and that kind of stuff. So that's all the dance floor prop ideas we have for you. But there are more. Take some time to go on to Pinterest. Look it up. There are so many things out there. You can do it fairly inexpensively, or you could actually put some some money into this and have a really fun, fun time, especially with the lighting and things like that. If you want to rent really good lighting, there are rental places out there that rent the whole shebang, and you can get yeah. – you can it, it could look like a concert up in there if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Just have fun with it. it. These are just ideas to get your guest out and dancing and having fun. There's, there's nothing worse than it's it's dancing time and nobody is dancing and the music's playing and the dance floor is empty and it's awkward and people don't want to be the first ones up. Walk around hand and have your bridal group, party. your bridal <laughs> party out there with, with something. And get the party started. Your wedding party is a great help in that. That's that's part of their job is to get people out there and, you know, moving and grooving mm-hmm. to all the songs. Have you had a chance to check out Zola.com yet? They are not only a registry website, they also have invites and save the dates as well as free wedding websites. They have over 100 beautiful save the date and invitations design. So there's one for every wedding and every color scheme. It's also easy to customize the designs with photos and your own wording. As you guys know, we set up a registry and a wedding website through Zola ourselves. We couldn't recommend this if we weren't going to do it ourselves. There are so many things that are free. Free guest addressing, free matching envelopes, free wedding websites, free guest list manager. I mean, I don't know how much better it can get. You can match or save the dates and wedding invitations to a free site. It's easy to personalize. It's also easy to integrate your registry into your website. So don't forget, you can register and then have all the rest of this stuff to work together so your guests can find everything in one spot. To sign up with Zola, go to Zola.com slash FRTV and get a 30% off savings on your save the dates and invitation order. It's Zola, Z-O-L-A dot com slash FRTV. We are also talking about photo booths today. 
You can hire a photo booth if you want, or you could do one yourself. If you hire one, it's going to be easier on you because you don't have to set up everything and take down everything and have all the props and stuff. But if you do want to go with a DIY photo booth, we have some great ideas. So you're going to want a backdrop, something that people are going to stand in front of so that it's just not a boring white wall or you can see the rest of your guests in the background. (laughs) (laughs) So here are a few backdrops. First of all, you could do a chalkboard, either write your own message or have something already done on it. So you can hire somebody to write a really pretty poem or something fun, whatever you want, or you can DIY that. Or you can let your guests write messages on the background and either fill up the whole thing or erase and and rewrite. It's just a really fun, very customizable thing. Palettes are all the rage now. You can make almost anything out of palettes. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. You know, law and furniture and backdrops. That's right. You can have them decorated or plain. You can stack them up together. You can sit on them. You can, you know, do all kinds of stuff with them. You can decorate them with flowers. You can decorate them with candles. Although I do recommend LED candles. Yes. (laughs) Especially on a palette. Absolutely. But you could just, you could do anything with the palette. You can paint them. You can take them apart and make all kinds of stuff with them. So Mm -hmm. that's, that would be really fun, I think. Next is pipe and drape. Um, We've talked about it on the show before, but pipe and drape is exactly what it says. There's piping with drapes (laughs) which is material so you could do any kind of material you want including lacy pretty or fun fabrics something that you see that you love maybe i love the mustache fabrics you know you could do something just fun with that especially if you're going to have props with it you know it might be kind of a theme so you you find a fabric that you like and then you pipe and drape it Hmm. Flower walls yes, flower are great walls. too. And they don't have to be real flowers. They could be fake flowers. True. Because it's hard to keep them alive the whole time. It can also be greenery. Living walls. Living walls are becoming a really big thing right now. You can stand in front of that. You can have all your props and have some awesome pictures in front of a living flower or fake flower wall. That's right. I was thinking even a grass grass wall would be really pretty Mm -hmm. moss yeah moss yeah of course we have that everywhere here uh (laughs) picture frames i know you guys have seen pictures of of the hanging picture frames you could even have them so that they're not right up against the back and people can stand in front of them or behind them and look through the picture frames kind of sort of like an old picture wall or something Mm -hmm. hanging plants and floral you can do that Ribbons, streamers, balloons. Hey, they've got those balloons filled with glitter and confetti now. (laughs) Yeah. Just don't pop them. Yeah, don't pop them. So you can use like party supplies like the paper fans or the balls that you open up and pin together. Like you you look at the like this is from like the 70s or something like that. (laughs) You can do really fun things with those in clusters and, and just make a really fun background with those. Doilies. You can do doilies. You can either hang them or put them on a background, some something that they're stuck to. You know, boho is really big, so doilies and macrame and stuff like that is cool. Layered fringe. You can also have a peekaboo wall with cutouts. We already talked about this in the picture frame. <laughs> yeah, but this this is like a, you know, when you walk into the amusement park and you can stick your heads in those, those oh. walls. I see. Where they have like this really muscled man and the skinny girl or monkey or whatever it is that you you think is fun. Okay. (laughs) Props are the big thing with photo booths. Yes. Anything you want for your photo booth props because a lot of it's fun. Things on sticks, you know, mustaches, glasses, lips, hats, eyeglasses. Thought bubbles. Thought bubbles that you write a message in or that have already pre-written messages in if you want to make sure nobody's writing anything you don't want written (laughs) down in a (laughs) thought bubble. (laughs) You can also use some of the props from the from the dance floor too. bring some of those Mm -hmm. into it. Glasses and wine flutes, um, wine glasses, that kind of stuff. You can find so many things right now for for photo booth props. 
And lots of signs, lots of signage. You can hold up on a stick that says things like wedding crasher or team, whatever the name of the couple is. I mean, you could have Team Edward and Jacob, too, if you want to. <laughs> People might not know what that means. <laughs> Things like congratulations, congrats, I want to be next, I'm single, I came for cake. <laughs> so there's, there's so, 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 so many options. And you can easily do those yourself to save a little bit of cash. Yeah. Wigs, clothes, jewelry, stick on tattoo, stick on tattoos, and uh, again, the creepy masks. <laughs> they don't have uh, to be creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it can be fun. <laughs> you can make it to th- you can make it fit your theme if you have a themed wedding. You can make these props to fit your theme so it can add to your all over aesthetic of the wedding. So Now that we've given you some ideas for props and photo booths, tell us what you are seeing when you're going to weddings or maybe what you're planning on doing. And you can do that by emailing us at info at fromringdevail.com or join our Facebook group. We'd love to hear it there. We have awesome FRTV swag available for you to purchase at fromringdevail.com slash TE. There's shirts and books and bags and If you're like me and you love tote bags, awesome. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to the podcast. We're on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, uh, CastBox, which as I looked at my stats, I was pretty, uh, our stats, I was pretty kind of shocked to find out CastBox is one place that is really popular with you guys. So Hmm. yeah, if you don't know about it, check it out and make sure you subscribe. Until next time, no stress, no worries. Keep calm and listen on. Music provided by bensound.com. <laughs>